Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze the business impact of employee engagement with Excel's correlation metrics. In correlation, a coefficient of plus one means there is a positive correlation. For example, the taller a person, the heavier the person will be. So if y goes up, x will go up. That means a positive correlation. A coefficient of negative 1 means there is negative correlation. For example, the more it, it rains, the less people go outdoors. So when y goes up, x goes down. A coefficient of 0 means there is no correlation. That means, for example, there is no uh, relationship between the amount of coffee you drink and your intelligence. To be able to run correlation using Excel, you need to first install Analysis 2 Pack, which is an Excel add-in program. To install the Analysis 2 Pack add-in, go to the File tab, click on More, and then Options. All right, then uh, under add-ins, make sure there is a uh, Excel add-ins. All right, Excel add-ins. And then you click go. And make sure this analysis two pack is tick. Then you click OK. OK, after, when you click OK on the data tab, uh, in this analysis uh, area, you will be able to see the analysis, data analysis uh, uh, tab here. Now, now that we have this, uh, look at this data. Here I have uh, some employee engagement data over the years, as well as the uh, uh, corresponding business results like customer satisfaction index, revenue per staff, operating income, also over the years. All right. I want to analyze how employee engagement affects business issues such as all these customer satisfaction, revenue, and operating income. Now, let's try to create the correlation matrix. To do this, click on the Go to data, click on the data analysis button. Look for correlation. Click on it. And click OK. So at this input range, you will see an arrow up button. Click on it. And then select all the cells, all the data that you want to include in your analysis. So you click here. And then uh, drag to select all the data, including the labels here, and all the all of the data. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Next, I need to tell Excel how my data is organized. Are uh, the data in columns or in rows? If you look at my data. Each variable is in a separate column. So I will select the column option. And because I selected labels in my first row, I will check. I will need to tell Excel it about it by ticking the labels in first column. column. Finally, I need to tell Excel where I want the correlation matrix results to be shown the first option there are three options here output options so the first options allow me to select an area in this same spreadsheet uh, where i want the results to be placed the second option will display the results in a new sheet the last option will display the results in an entirely new excel document i'll select the first option and pick the cell that i want output to be out And then click 
okay to run the analysis. As you can see, Excel has now generated a correlation matrix here. Now let's uh, interpret this correlation matrix. The engagement score here and business results are at the top row as well as at the left column. The numbers in this in the table here represents the correlation coefficient values. Remember here the uh, uh, correlation coefficient values. So you read at the uh, intercept. So for example, here here's the intercept between employee engagement score and the customer satisfaction index. The correlation is 0 0.94, which is almost one. That means there's a very strong positive correlation. So in other words, employee engagement is a very good indicator, predictor of customer satisfaction. Um, so when employee engagement increases, customer satisfaction index will also increase. Next, the if you look at the engagement score compared with revenue per staff, it also has a fairly strong correlation of 0 0.7. So employee engagement is also a, a quite a good predictor of revenue. Next, when you look at employee engagement, when this compare with operating income per staff, the intercept here, 0 0.15. This is a weak correlation because it's around uh, near to zero, right? So it has a weak correlation. In other words, employee engagement is a weak predictor of operating income. Now, I will show you how to color code each of these cell based on their coefficient, coefficient uh, based on the coefficient. To do this, we can use Excel's conditional formatting. First, to, to use that, first we highlight all the data in the matrix, then go to home, look for conditional formatting, click on it, then click on new rule, and I want to format all cells based on their values. Uh, format style, let's pick three color scale. For the type, minimum the type, change it to number and the value, change it to minus one. The color, put it as red, midpoint, put as number, the value zero, midpoint, okay, uh, yellow is fine. Uh, maximum, the number for maximum is, uh, I want it as a positive one. And the color, let's pick a green. All right. Now, what does this conditional formatting rule does? Is it, all right. What it's saying is that any cell with a coefficient of minus one will be colored red. Any cells with a value coefficient value of zero will be colored yellow. And any cells with a coefficient value of plus one will be colored green. And because this is a colored color gradient, any values between these points will have a shade of color that represents their correlation coefficient. I will click OK to apply this, uh, this uh, correlation. And you will see the color change here. As you can see, the cells have changed color. From the color codes, we can see the correlation between employee engagement score, the intercept here, and customer satisfaction has the strongest positive correlation because they have a dark shade of green. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.